first edge we can pretty much just optimize can be super extreme with this Again, keep this first one pretty clean. We can do it a little bit lower. I'm still keeping it clean. So let's connect this up. I hit the wrong thing, I think. I hate how slow Maya can get. Again, we can go pretty down low for the interior. Just look how slow that is, that's ridiculous. Now that that's all looking fine. I'm gonna go back to the UV editor. And okay, let's take all the messed up UVs. Doing UV stuff is an easy way to make selections. So now we've got this whole thing selected, let's go in isolation mode. Smooth shade this to begin with. Which is only doing this one. And double check I didn't mess up, so that's okay. So I'm really gonna spend some time getting this stuff lower. Not sure why my is being so slow to collapse stuff.
super strange that it's recording history while I'm telling it not to. It's making this process awfully slow. I'm gonna try to do a thing to fix this. Let's see if we can get this fixed by doing something like this. Let's delete. Uh, collapse edge. So apparently collapse doesn't have an action. So it kinda screwed. I'm gonna try resetting my Maya, restarting it. So that didn't fix it sadly, so we're gonna have to power it through. So let's go into a Windows modeling edit the presets and just delete them. So we don't need them anymore. Maybe that can help speed my up a little bit as well. So I'm just gonna go ahead and kind of work on the interior like this, nothing special, just getting rid of poly count. I'll do that off recording to, to make the video a little bit less long. So actually I'm gonna do something a little bit else to make this a lot faster. As we don't need this topology to be all the same, only like right here. And especially not for helmet because it's not gonna deform. But again, if this was a deforming thing with thickness, they'd need to have that matching that topology. So what we can do is we can go select this whole thing, then grow the selection by two. Then make sure this is selected as well. That all looks fine. Then we unselect this from the UVs. Invert it. Unselect. Now we have all the stuff that we need to clean up and we can just delete it. Then we get something like this. Like life. Go ahead and clean it a little bit. So I want this to be pretty nice and clean. So like this clean enough, definitely. Now what we can do is we can take this whole thing. First let's fix this. So I'm gonna bridge, fail. Get the polar count nice and low. Now we can just take this and 
we can just extrude it inwards. Let's do that again. Let's first fix it up a bit. place all these UVs so we can easily select the ones that we make. Now we can go into solo mode here. We can just take this and merge it all together. Same here. and collapse I'm gonna add an extra loop Get this topology a little bit looking clean. Want to be very careful though, they would only do this, nothing else. Just like that we create a whole insect. We could still get rid of some more stuff if we want to. So this is more important if you're doing an actual game uh, character to, to load this as much as you can. I'm not too worried about the poly count. Now let's go ahead and take all this stuff. Let's do a mapping, planar mapping, and move and seal. Now we have a whole interior here. Go ahead and delete history. Got a few mesh issues. I'm gonna unfold. Optimize, I mean, that we can fix that. If this is not found, we have to go to Windows, Settings, Plugin, and type Unfold. Just reload it and refresh. Now it should be here. that's not working let's see what's happening here with the UVs I'm just gonna take this all again do a mapping plane a mapping let's see what's happening We have 
get a few bad edges here. Found, find this when it's smooth and it's not smoothing normally, like there's some weird stuff happening. Now that all looks pretty normal except for that one. I'm gonna remodel this but a little bit more clean this time. little bit of resolution there. That's fill. Now we just connect some stuff up together. So now let's take all this. Mapping. Let's take all this and smooth. smooth that as well. Actually can we? Yeah, I think we can. Now we've successfully added thickness. Just make this life quickly match the shape a bit better.
And again, the important parts are still matching the topology, so that's good. And then everything in the inside we can really lower to save from that poly count. We can pretty much bring this as low as we want to go. It's more important if you have a tight polygon budget to catch. And for fun, let's do a quick bake. Stop my Maya. So I couldn't get it fixed, so I update my Maya. And reinstalling always fixes it. It's a good point to update if you haven't yet. So now we can easily smooth that out. Let's take a look at this thingy. I'm not sure what's happening here. I think we just have to smooth this out. That does the trick. So that all looks fine. Now we can start taking a look at the interior bake as well. So let's bake. That's all looking good here. Let's check out the Maya. Little UV issues here and there. In general, it's looking pretty nice. So some alignment issues here and there. Now let's work a little bit on the actual thickness here, you can see it's not matching well. And I did mention it, that it's very important to keep this a nice edge. Because now we can go to Quattro, Multicut, 
we can just add an edge like this let's turn that off let's select those vertices now we can just move that in the normal to where it should be more or less do the same here I think that's enough. I'm gonna put this one a little bit better. This should be in the middle. That one's pretty amazing. And we might add that one back later, but first let's fix this middle edge this should be nicely in the middle this area is a little bit more tricky very important I want to make sure that I go out of this rough edge again I'm gonna explain later why but basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna add some really nice fussiness to the ladder and then we need to like have a duplicate of the mesh like two times duplicated and inflated to bring some fussiness with an opacity map but the way if we like we we mess this out nicely we only have to use these two polys here let's say if we do like three then it's gonna be three which is gonna be more heavy on poly count this sounds a little bit uh, strange but you'll see after the textures and when we get to the rendering it will be pretty easy to set up the fussiness it's gonna look very nice To work properly, we gotta be pretty careful with that apology. Maybe I'll delete this one as well. Then yeah, we can put it in later if we want to, then we don't need to adjust that as much. This overlap's pretty bad. I'm gonna decide to add a little bit more topology. Just to capture that shape better, as you can see. And this one we can triangulate. Capture. Once you be careful, we do with some ability to add an edge Actually, we don't. That's pretty nice. Just here. That's something to note. We got add some more stuff there.
you can see how much time the goes into creating a nice low poly. It's like we almost spent as much time on the low as the high. You could definitely do this faster though if you're a little bit less worried about the final look. But if you really want to get something very nice, it's, it's just going to take a lot of time. Let's work a little bit more on those UVs. These ones are horrible. So I'm gonna map, plane and map. This time let's actually unfold them. Then we need to choose somewhere to cut them. I think the most appropriate location would be somewhere where it won't be too noticeable, like maybe in a, in a corner right here. we get this really ugly shape I'm gonna rotate this out with soft select shouldn't suit here and just drag it out rotate it a bit put this to the surface so it ignores all the islands Try to get this pretty nice and straight. That's enough though. Then we can take one. Just drag it straight. And unfold. Now take all. And unfold that stuff. Definitely going to do like a second cut. I think uh, I need some stuff here anyway, so let's do one here. a little bit better later we're gonna give the interior way less textile density but for now let's use this as a test export this actually let's place this all together I 
Like, cause it's starting to look really nice. Try a little bit more resolution. Is this a test bake? The UVs are pretty bad. Now that's really nice and sharp. Definitely think that's enough of a uh, polish on this part. Go ahead and work a little bit on the other. So that's all looking fine. So I'm not gonna finalize the topology all the way and make the UVs perfect. First, I wanna get the Helmet 4 pieces in. So I'm gonna start with re this piece. I'm gonna separate this. So now we can take this piece and center. Gonna make a duplicate. Let's call this one centered. Just gonna be moving this to the zero of the scene. I'm not gonna worry about putting it exactly on the topology. All that I care about is getting that topology blocked out. This way we can work with symmetry even though it's not as symmetrical uh, in the, the position where it was. But because we're retopping this in the center line, we can work with symmetry again, which is great. So again, I'm not too worried about matching the features too closely. Just want to get that topology in here. The one we actually placed where it should be, then I'm gonna worry about matching those features. You can hold down left mouse and drag an edge like that.
so we don't actually need those. Now we can just select all these. Another thing to quickly select that, you can just select all, then disable the, the border and then we should be able to fill a hole. Now that fills everything. So let's make sure this all on the zero. Straight. So now we can duplicate it, scale minus one, combine this, history. that one mm, not sure. let's keep it like this for now still eat those and add it at edge flow Go ahead and place that. Just gonna do it by the top one here. Put that to the top one here and then just rotate it until it's right. Doesn't need to be perfect, so we still need to edit this. It should be pretty close. So something like that's fine. Let's make this live. Now we can actually start matching those features up. go in the hole we don't need all that resolution so we can do a ring a loop I mean and collapse
gonna add one more, yeah? To really get a nice rounded topology. Make this all nice, so we can baffle this. And I could use baffle so far, that's just generally speaking. If you want to clean this up a little bit, you could take this, disable that, and go to component and just drag it out and rotate it a little bit. So it matches it as close as you can. Do the same here. Baffle this. It's looking pretty nice, except for that shade in here. That's better. I'll do the same thing here. Select this and component and move this down. Component. And this is gonna keep it like nice and hot surface feeling because everything is the same. Flatness. Check the shading here. Here we need to baffle it as well. And then lastly, we need to baffle these pieces up. We should start with this so we get a better baffle. I'm gonna make sure everything's in the right place first. I'm not too worried about getting this as perfect as the, the leather helmet thing. It's just like an extra and the leather helmet is obviously like a main piece. So I'm gonna be way complex. Uh, 
I'll just match with the other side. Again, I'm gonna spend way less time on this piece than the leather helmet. So I'm just doing this very fast. Click to edges, edge parameter, we can get all those edges. Now just bevel. A soft shade. Hard edge. That's all. Let's add one more loop here for the resolution. Get a better shading. If you want to go crazy, you can capture that little roundness. I don't think we need it. Perfect, just matching it all up quickly. looking pretty nice I can do a quick mesh uh, conform maybe not maybe we shoot nah, I'm not gonna do it See that isn't changing too much, so that's good. And let's put the scene somewhere where we can't really see it. So 
that be around here? Over here we can sew it and here hard edge and cut. Let's check out the bake. Put it all together. And once again, this is why I really encourage working with export scripts. Now we just hit this, and that's all. It's not even a second work to rebake. You can see that looks pretty good. Got some errors here and there. Where you can notice very noticeable bake errors, there you just go and you adjust those parts. Now you can see that's a lot better. So that's looking pretty nice and detailed. As we're pretty fond of the low poly of the helmet itself. I'm gonna go ahead and work a little bit on the goggles. No? this to goggles this to two that's all so let's make this one live to get a polycon back. So let's see. I think the easiest will be to start with this. So I'm just gonna really quickly Block this out. here so we can use them for this part then let's put an extra edge I 
actually working with symmetry. I don't really like that. So this is gonna be nothing complicated. We're just gonna repeat what we did with the helmet in this step. So matching up features and slowly blocking it in and then adding more details by cutting. I want to follow the same edge more or less for all, so on the border of like this outer leather piece. And here I need to cut it, and then all the way up into here. Then we can get rid of this. That's more resolution here. Now let's go to the back. line those edges up and just like this edge. I'm not just just like this. We don't need too much detail in the back because this is going to be hidden. So we can keep this pretty low. Now let's put an edge for the metal here. Now let's continue to all around. Again, I'm making the low poly quite high. Like uh, 
you could do it like this where you get rid of all that. And try to get a pretty render. Actually, let's uh, put those in later. Let's start connecting this up. So you can see I'm really trying to follow that little fault in the topology. I'm putting quite a lot of effort into following these little plane changes. Because this will be a pretty big focal point of the asset. And just remember triangles aren't bad. Especially without deformation, all you want to be sure about is that the shading stays well. You can put as many triangles as we like to. Again, being quite excessive with poly count, but all that matters is for personal projects to put polys where they matter. Like if they don't add anything, don't add them. But if they can add something, you can do it because you can justify why you put it in. Let's do our first test bake. the UVs look, just want to do some really quick ones. Let's 
do a quick test bike. Again, I'm gonna put it at 8k to compensate for the bad UVs. Gonna make a new material. Let's call this goggles. MTL and put rock. I'm hitting five and six to reload the textures, by the way. I think this all works great. Obviously we need more resolution here. Need some more here as well. You can see I'm pretty much only adding resolution whenever I need to connect something. That's just because that's a, a good opportunity to add some resolution, because we need to get this more high res anyway. Difficult to do with modeling tools, modeling toolkit, so we can just bridge. Same here. here a little bit the same here and I have one more edge there first let's model this out to add an edge. Here we get another one. So 
I'm gonna space this out a little bit better. Now let's add an extra edge. Not gonna follow this too exactly because we'll do that after we break the symmetry up. Add some quick thickness. See how much easy it is to to finish it low when we don't have as much layering going on. On the other one, we had uh, a lot of panels, so there was a lot to line up. This one's a little bit more relaxed to do. For the most part, of course, here you're gonna see it a little bit. So, here I want to be a little bit more careful. I think that's pretty nice looking. Now we're just going to add some segments to connect everything well. Let's work a little bit on refining this. We need to put this detail in. Let's see. Uh, first I'm gonna put an extra edge, I think.
the one I've got the stitches in a little bit as well, as they do add a lot of shape to the silhouette. Oh, and let's also cut this stuff out. So this is going to be very simple. Just do this. Do the same here. Then we connect this. And let's get rid of this stuff. Maybe let's not get rid of it, but cut it out. I think that's gonna work a little bit easier. Over here we can make a cut and then connect it like this. Over here we can move it, it's pretty close already. I'm gonna remove it. We can start adding it back so with the thickness in mind. See how we can work with that already existing loop. So that's all connecting up nicely. And add a little bit more resolution as well. need some more segments here so we can do it like this Now let's also fix it up over here, it's going to be the same principle.
now we can delete this. Now let's extract. Can put this all the way to the end. I think that should be enough resolution for a small piece like this. I think I'll move this out up a little bit. I'm gonna add one extra edge. Just to round it out a little bit better. want this to be all pretty much even uh, actually let's not do that yet got distracted here but we're working on stitches and all that gonna merge this one here nah it's not I'm gonna make an outline of the stitches. I'm not necessarily gonna put all the detail of every single stitch in, like the perfect curvature and all that. this down a little bit the one thing that we can do now is to take this loop and disable sticky should enable history now we can just give it a little bit of depth it's like again place a little bit better again you really don't want to model in all the stitches on an asset but if they're like really big stitches that point out a lot you can consider adding, adding them especially because this like uh, around the eye area is always going to ask for a lot of attention so the more you're working on a focal point or near focal point the more resolution you want to put in your low and to really finish it off let's make another one here
Now we can give some roundness back to the stitches. I think this one's gonna be problematic for the shading. What's up with my focus? It's focusing very strangely here. So let's see how can we fix that. I think we can make a triangle here. We can go like this. It's gonna be a little bit more average the shading here now. See that's not too bad. So let's take a look at the difference between like uh, having a little bit of depth to stitches and not having any. Yeah, I'm gonna make some quick UVs. Actually, let's just go and um, UV automatic. Wish this had a better automatic UV though, like ZBrush. I think you can actually UV automatic few pieces. You can try doing something like that. this but that's gonna mess up a bit so I guess we do just have some nano some bad edges here not sure where we put those just gonna do this and fold and say fix this one looks suspicious This should be fine for showing off that part. This is gonna be horrible though. I think you can really tell the difference now that we're getting in these stitches. Check out the little bit of depth they have. And they look nice and straight. These have like a weird skewing going on. And we check the side profile. They actually have some interesting stuff happening. So let's do the same on top for the features that we have here. I'm gonna start off with the stitch line again.
is going to be a little bit tough. Go ahead and add resolution here. Also going to cut this out already. Resolution here. Go ahead and this. Can't really touch that poster here. Maybe we can add a little bit of that depth here. Yeah, getting actual depth in your low poly is gonna add a lot to the final look. I can see we have a little bit of a mistake in the height. It should have all been a little bit further away from the edge to give the low poly a bit of space. It's not too bad. This is gonna, uh, gonna look a little bit better when we add more resolution here as well. So that's something to keep in mind. I really don't want to get them in the hole. We can disable life. And we can move that out. Now that we have this all in, do a quick unfold. Let's see how big of a difference that makes. You can see the difference is quite big. Now the stitches look nice and, and skewed. And they got some nice depth to them. It's looking great. And it's not too too big on the poly count, so that's nice. Let's cut out the last piece. Then we can start cleaning this up a little bit more. 
and then symmetry and then we can pretty much call it done so this is going a lot faster than the helmet so it's way less complex Hmm. Don't want to break the loop, actually. Ah, let's break the loops. I think it will be easy. Just add the loop, yeah. that and of course not only to have uh, a loop here we also needed to clean this out So I'm putting this edge here for the shading so we don't have to put a baffle and then this looks well. Maybe that's actually not the best idea, let's do it like this. for now so here we get another opportunity at some roundness here so then we can round this out I'm baffling this because I want to keep this all on the same UV. Don't want to put a cut here. So then we can only put baffles to fix the shading.
It's gonna be a paint pudding, but we're gonna do it anyway. It's holes. Again, I'm being extra careful to match the features here, because this is very much a focal point. It's around the eye area. Now we can do something like this. Just gonna square it around. Now let's cut some corners in. These stretched polys usually create for horrible shading, but if we keep this completely flat, it will be fine. I'm going to show you what I mean with that. So if we take a look at this, the shading is not too bad actually, it's pretty flat already. To get it just right, we have to select all this. Component, this one off, just scale this flat. See that was already pretty flat. start connecting stuff because this surface is flat and then we have a baffle all the shading will work well You always want to try to get the least amount of uh, triangles connected to one vertex. See that's looking nice and clean. I'm going to take this and collapse. Save a little bit on the poly count. Move them to the center. So that looks a little bit nicer. Make sure that's all flat. Now for the shading, I'm gonna take these. Actually, before let's do one double check that this is all perfectly flat. That's all flat, so let's take these. And a full edge. We've got to move it out here. Check one time. Go ahead and match the eye on the
So just quickly moving all those patches. Do this in component mode. So you can move that patch on this normal. Before we baffle this up, and do a bake, see how that kind of looks. So make sure this is flat again. You can see how bad the shading gets without the baffles, but that's okay for now. Amazing. <laughs> Try that again. Let's try re exporting. Yeah. So I'm going to take this one, put it here. We can just re fold it. Get a little bit better resolution in here. Let's put this to 4K. That looks pretty good. Let's try 8K. Let's try to get a little bit better of a preview on those edges here. And I think that works. So now you can see this base really ugly and we have all these artifacts it's because of the shading. So now we select all those to edge parameter and baffle. Now you can see this shading is pretty nice. Little bit of an issue there. So we need to flatten that out. Okay. That's nice all So you still have a little bit of a shading issue. I'm gonna try to shade that a little bit differently. That gives nice shading. triangles and shading but it's good enough so we should get a really nice clean day so that's low risk it's more acceptable try to get the other looks that's pretty nice so now we're looking at some of that to it which is great So let's see, let's add some extra resolution here. To do this cleanly, we can do edge flow and not have life on. It's just gonna smooth it out nicely. And one more here. Let's do one 
as well. We want to get an extra one here so we can do that. Maybe one more here. Now that we have all this, we do edit edge flow. Just gonna make it all nice and round. Nice and smooth here. 